What's going on everyone? Today I'm team building around Heliolisk for Sword and Shield OU, then I will be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. I'm actually doing something a little bit different today. Normally I like to keep my main account like low to mid 1600s, just because I think that's more enjoyable to play as well as watch, but today I intentionally laddered up all the way to like nearly top 100. Just to change it up, we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling we'll find a lot of tryhard teams, stuff like Grimmsnarl lead with Cloyster and Bisharp, a lot of like Corviknight, Clefable, Erodum Heat type of teams, and a Pokemon that I think will do very well alongside Heliolisk. Just to counter that sort of stuff is Copperaja as a lead, because a lot of people on bulky offense like to spam Seismitoad with Rock's early game just to go ahead and get those up, and Copperaja gets power up just to go ahead and completely deny those hazards, right? So that's going to be really helpful. If they do give us the power up into Toad, then Heliolisk can just spam the electric moves the entire game, so... That'll be good, then let's just go ahead and put some weight-based moves on here. Heavy Slam, Heat Crash, just to go ahead and threaten Ferrothorn, even though I do have Focus Blast on here. It's also good against Corviknight if I can't get Copperaja, or I can't get Heliolisk in, so that's valuable. Then I'll put Stealth Rocks with, of course, Heavy Metal, and we'll make this a Focus Sash set. So really offensive lead Pokemon right here. I actually haven't used it since the Dynamax ban, so it should be interesting. I actually want enough speed for Toxapex in case it's worn down into range of one of these moves. That is 44 speed. Toxapex hits 106 with no speed, and we can go ahead and get the 107. And I can just put the rest into HP, so that's really great. Now, from here, I definitely want... I'm trying to decide how offensive I want to go, because right now we just have offense. There's really no defensive capabilities. We have two ground weak Pokemon, is what I'm realizing, so a ground immunity would be very helpful. So the ones I usually go for are like Mendabuzz or Corviknight. Another offensive option would be like Flygon. Oh, there are a lot more UUBLs now. Last I checked, it was just Halucha, but okay. Flygon would not be bad. The reason I like Flygon right here is because it lures in Corviknight really well, which I can just use to get in Heliolisk with U-Turn, so that would be really strong. The other option is just like a defensive option, right? I'm not really too worried about ghost types if I'm being honest. I can probably like make aggressive pivots into Heliolisk on those ghost type moves. So I don't think I need Amanda Buzz on the team. I think Flygon is just the way to go with a choice scarf set. Hazards are gonna like really benefit Flygon a lot too, so that'll be good. Uh, like I said, I want U turn on here just to be able to get out on Corviknight. Then I'll run Outrage, Earthquake, and Fire Punch. So I love the fact that all of these Pokemon have a way to hit. Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is so annoying, so that's really helpful. Also, Copperage is just threatening fairy type Pokemon for Flygon is really useful as well, so that's really cool. Also, just getting rid of Seismitoad is also helpful for Flygon as well, not just Heliolisk, so I like that. Let's go ahead and see what I want now. I would definitely love... Well, I don't think I need hazard control if I'm going this offensive. Like, I don't think I'm going to be taking turns to defog, but... If I did want Hazard Control, I feel like Rapid Spin Drill would be the play. The problem is, I don't think I want to run Ground Spam right now. I mean, it could be viable, just a really offensive Ground Spam with T-Tar Drill, but... Like, T-Tar would be the rocker, and then Copperage is sort of out of place on the team, the way I see it, so... I don't know about that. I could run, like, four attacks T-Tar. You know what I really need? I need to switch into Opposing Clef. Like, Flygon can't really do much. And if Copperage's Sash is broken, then Flamethrower is going to blow me away. Maybe I just use, like, the easy pick and go Rotom Heat here. <laughs> Rotom Heat with, like, Nasty Plot. That would also help out against Sylveon, which is kind of similarly. Like, if I don't have my Focus Sash, Mystical Fire is going to hurt Copperage. I think I'll just put that on the team. Like, the Volt Switch is going to be really useful as well. Because I can get out on Pokemon like Hydreigon, then bring in Heliolisk to be able to like Hyper Voice through. Even if it's behind a substitute, Hyper Voice will go through that, so that's really nice. Then I'll put Overheat on here with Will-O-Wisp and Nasty Plot. Of course, Heavy Duty Boots, and then just Max HP, Max Speed Timid is definitely what I want to go with. Now... I definitely want more of a, just a better way to threaten dragons because like my, currently my only way to do that is locking Outrage with this and like Heliolisk can't touch a Dragapult at all. So I really need a better option against that. So a Sylveon of my own wouldn't be bad. The problem is like you like to learn Sylveon alongside steals that don't get a reliable recovery and Copperaja is one of those. It's not really going to appreciate the reliable recovery though. That's the thing. So maybe I should go with like just more of an offensive option being Clef. Yeah, Clef actually would be fine. It would be more of a reliable bet against Hydreigon, like Volt switching from Rotom. That would be really useful. 
instead of going to Heliolisk, because I don't think Heliolisk can kill, like, Hydreigon behind a sub if it gets Leftovers recovery back, so maybe Life Orb Clef is just better here with uh, Magic Guard, of course, Moonlight. We already have a Stealth Rocker, so I can afford to run Recovery right now, or else I would just run, like, Glass Cannon Clef with the Herox and three attacks. We'll run Moonblast, Flamethrower, and... Thunderbolt with enough speed for bulky Corviknight. I like to go 64 for opposing Clef as well. Then I'll put max special attack and a lot in HP. We have one slot left, so we have really cool offensive options and then the defense is just really standard. What does the team lack right now? I definitely want a way to threaten... Sandra's Drill would be a really big issue here. I'm realizing, like, we have two ground weeks. So this gets blown away by Iron Head. Rock Slide would definitely kill my Rotom, and Clef would get blown away by Iron Head, so... What can check that? I mean, Mach Punch can Calder wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Like, we already have a Rotom form, and I can't break Species Claws. We have a Stealth Rocker and a Ground-type. Conk would also be good against, like, Toxapex, which currently... Flygon doesn't even be Toxapex 1v1. Like, it stalls me out with recovery, so... I don't know how much Thunderbolt's doing. This can definitely take it on, but if Toxic is on this thing, then that would be really bad. Conkelder can run Earthquake to threaten that Pokemon, which would be really good. I think I need Conk on the team just for Excadrill, though. Like, I need the priority, or else Drill is just going to 6-0 my team. I'll run Mach Punch, Drain Punch, Earthquake, and Thunder Punch with uh, Flame Orb Guts. Just the set that I always run with 20 speed. Max Attack Adamant. Yeah, and then the rest in HP, so that'll be the team. Definitely some cool picks, but a lot of standard stuff towards the end right here. I'm okay with using standard stuff, though, considering where we're going to be playing on the ladder, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, I have a game right now. We have a Dugtria right away, which is really bad for my Heliolisk, I'm not going to lie. I could try to capture it with the Hyper Voice, but they might pivot to Dragapult instead. I'm just going to lead off with the Raja right here. It definitely can take one overheat from the Rotom. I have Heat Crash for the Corviknight, so that's really great. I have power up for the Toad, so basically, like, the best scenario would be them not leading Rotom against Mekhaparaja, but that's what they should do. Now, the thing is, against Dugtrio, do I attack or do I get a Parox? That's the question, because if I were to get a Parox, it would 2-hit KO me, I think, and then I don't have the Sash broken, so that would be tough in itself. They actually lead off with the Dragapult. Could go for a will but I don't really care, though. I'm just going to go for Rox. It just goes for U-turn, so my Sash is broken. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get up my hazards right now and see how they respond. Potentially with the Rotom Heat is what I'm thinking. But I could have... I'm pretty sure this thing gets like a Rock Slide or something like that, so they might go Toad instead. They could go Toad, bait my Power Rip, and then get in Rotom Heat, but I don't think that's a good play, because I could easily Power Rip right here, just calling that. I clicked really fast though, so they should expect a Rocks to come out. Like, what else would I do, right? I'm actually curious, how fast are you, Kaparaja? Not anywhere near as fast enough for Sylveon, okay. Well, that's tough as well. Let's just see what play they make. Like, I'm pretty sure I can take a one hit from the Dugtrio if that comes in. I'm just gonna calc against Choice Band. I mean, if they go Dugtrio, not a lot I can do, right? It's gonna kill me. <laughs> Let's see, so if it was Choice Scarf, I could take... Oh wow, even that Earthquake does too much. So they go Toad. I think they're going Rotom right here, but I'm gonna power up anyway. They actually give me their Toad, okay. I will uh, take that. I mean, I'm dead to Dougie here, I think, but having that out of the way is actually really helpful for Flygon. Now, Flygon still isn't that great right here. It's, like, gonna get walled by the Sylveon and Corviknight, so that's a bit tough. It's one last thing that my Clefable has to deal with, though, but I really need to get rid of the Rotom Heat, if anything. It might even be worth it to keep this thing, because looking at the matchup, I really struggle against Sylveon without my Copperaja, so... I don't know, if they go Dugtrio here, they can obviously just kill me. I think they're Focus Ash Duggy based on how long they're taking, so... Let's go ahead and get rid of the Jolly Nature and see how much that would do. 84 to 100, I don't think they want to risk that. Yeah, they go to Rotom Heat, which is what I was thinking might, they might do. I really want to keep my Rotom Heat healthy for the Corviknight and the Sylveon, so... Maybe my best play here is to go like... I don't want to go Flygon on will o -Wisp. that's really bad. Although I've acknowledged Flygon doesn't do well that well right here, it's still my speed control for Dragapult at the end of the day. Maybe I just stay in. Mm, I'll go Conk. They go for Overheat and Miss. Oh, that actually is really big. I didn't think they would actually do that, but... Uh, now my thought process is they could get in Dragapult, obviously. I think they actually are gonna... 
So they took rocks, right? This could be the Scarfer. If they go Dragapult, I can get in Heliolisk on Shadow Ball. Or Clefable on Draco. Let's Drain Punch here. This guy cannot hit. It's actually kind of sad. Like, this might kill too. It does just kill. I mean, I made the correct play. I would have gotten my health back. I'm also pretty sure I would have lived, like, the Overheat into the minus 2 Overheat. But the fact that I'm at full health right now is actually, like, really lame. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's, like, pretty big. I'll just Earthquake this. I really can't let it Dragon Dance for free. They go for U-Turn, so, like, obviously the Corviknight's coming in. Not really much I can do about that. I can just get a Rotom Heat here. They go for U-Turn. So they're making good plays for sure. They're trying to catch me. They go to Dragapult now. I definitely want to keep my Rotom Heat alive, so... That did 7.2%. I'm just going to Calc it. I mean, no. What, what, what attacked me there? The Dragapult did 7.3% to my Conk. I just want to find out if this is physical or not. That's the, the important thing right here. So if they were to special Dragapult with the U-Turn, which the default set doesn't have on there... It is special, so that means I'm going to take a lot of damage here. If I go Copperaja, I still think that's the play, though. Like, I don't really need it. They went for what? Draco Meteor and Mist. Okay, Miss. I, I really don't understand why this guy can't hit a single move. I'm pretty sure they're locked into that as well. If I really think they are, I could just Heat Crash here, but I feel like if... I just want to confirm it and go for Heavy Slam. Like, here's the thing, if they kill me with the fire move, my play here is to go for Heat Crash, because if they stay in, in theory, I'm dead anyway, but... No, let's just Heavy Slam. This guy's gonna run, I can already see it, like, this was not even a game of Pokemon. Yeah, there we go, I'll be right back. So I have another game right here, my opponent has a kamo -Oh, which I have to be very careful about. Flygon is good speed control for it, but I can't Hyper Voice it with Heliolisk due to potentially soundproof. It might be bulletproof though, you never know, but... I really like Life Orb Clef right here, Rotom is going to be their initial pivot. And if I can spam Moonblast into that, that'll do a lot of damage for me this game. If I want to break through Sylveon, I need to keep either Rotom or Copperaja like I did last game, so... How do I want to go about that? I once again really like Copperaja lead, if I'm being honest. I can get a Barox or Power Rip Toad, but I think I'll keep it in the back. This guy does lead off with the Rotom Heat, unlike the last player, okay. Well, good to know. I definitely don't want to take the hit here, I think. I'm gonna go to my Rotom Heat. This definitely sucks because it will weaken me for, like, a few things, actually. Like, Sylveon's Hyper Voice as well as Corviknight later. I'm gonna try to burn the Seismitoad coming in because wearing it down is gonna be really useful for Flygon. Really hope I hit. I am able to hit the will o -Wisp. Nice. And uh, what I can do here is get in Life Orb Cleft to Pressure. I mean, I know the rocks are going up, so... The other option is going hard copper, Aja, and just getting up my own before my sash is broken. That might actually be the better play. Yeah, I like that a lot more, and I can go to Brax here. If they Scald Burn me, it'll definitely hurt, but, like, it is what it is, right? If I, They might also just pivot. Oh, they go Corviknight. Is this bulk up? I don't think it takes my hit well, even if it is bulk up. I'm heavy metal heat crash, dude. It gets for a U-turn. Okay, good, good pivot. They're gonna go to Rotom Heat here, and um, it's not gonna take too much damage. No, they actually bring back the Toad, okay. Really odd play, in my opinion, because... Like, is, don't you just die to power up? I mean, if you Scald Burn me, then... I actually need the damage here. It's not even... Why are people running boots? Like, are, is all, are all of these Scarf now? Like, what? I'll go to Rotom Heat again. Like, I, I don't think I need it for Sylveon anymore when I still have Copper Raja around. He actually tricks me his ring target, so... What was he anticipating? Flygon? So, if I remember correctly, this is the one that negates immunities, right? Ring target? Or is it resistances too? Immunity grant, okay. So he cannot be- I think he was trying to Volt Switch out on my Flygon. I'm gonna overheat here. Just get my chip damage off. That thing's dead on entry if it doesn't defog. They're probably gonna bring back that Seismitoad. No, it ends up being Corviknight, which I can just Volt out on. I don't know why you would go this into, like, Toad. Like, why would you just go Toad in the first place, right? I guess maybe they just wanted my boots. Like, that's the thing. So, oh, wait a minute. It's not dead on entry at all. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta remember. <laughs> it really isn't. Okay, Copper Raja should live a Mystical Fire, so I'll bring that out and click Heavy Slam. They either, like, go Toad and take a decent amount, or they sack off Rotom, right? I don't think many- Oh, really? Are you serious, dude? <laughs> that thing was a really big threat. Like, I really don't mind that. Now here's the problem, this thing just got all its health back and there's no way I'm living overheat, right? If I do, I'm staying in because I don't want this thing getting the wish back, but... 
Like, I think they might be max special attack as well. So let's just find out. Yeah, no way I'm living. So my best play here is either to sack off my Rotom. Or I can choose to get in, like, Flygon. But I, I really don't feel comfortable making a play like that. I think I just go Rotom here. On a nasty plot, okay. I don't really think that's too scary. Because I can revenge using Hyper Voice if I hit the Overheat. I need to hit the Overheat, though. That's the scary part. <laughs> Please, Rotom. If you don't hit, I lose. Oh, they're faster. They lost their boosts, though. Okay, good to know, I guess. Uh, that's not the best, though. The damage would have put it in range of Hyper Voice, so... Kind of wish I would sped there, I'm not gonna lie. Nasty Plot Overheat Trick. What do they have? Boots? They have Heavy... I, it recovered so much, too. Sylveon's HP is so good. I'll go to... I don't want to go flag on an outrage here. That's a losing play. I think I just go heal the Alisk and try to hyper voice. Even if it means dying due to dry skin. Well, actually, I take twice from fire moves, right? Or twice the damage. I don't think they would risk Dragapult. That seems so careless. I'm going to go for hyper voice. They actually do. Maybe I should have read into it. So I can go Copper Aja. I don't really need it anymore because I got rid of Sylveon. They go for U-turn. So yeah, that Odom's coming back now. Ah, uh, that, that trick into the the wish is actually going to probably lose me this game. <laughs> yeah, because they're going for overheat here. I'll go to flag on now. Yeah, that hurts. I don't think they're staying in. I'm going to go for U-turn on the Corviknight. I need my momentum back. Ah, uh, they did actually just stay in. I'll go to Clef on the Volt Switch. At least this way I'll like, get momentum either way, because nothing comes in and revenges me. Unless they're like Specs Flash Cannon on Komoa randomly, that would be like the one way. But yeah, I'll Thunderbolt into this. Actually, Flamethrower is probably the better play looking at it, yeah. They actually give me the hit into that, just a defog, okay. That's really good, I don't think Moonblast is killing, so I'll click Flamethrower again. That's actually really good for me, because Flygon has a better opening now. I'm really happy about that. I wonder if it's... So here's the thing with this, if I damage this, I actually can win with Scarf Outrage right now, because Seismitoad is burned. I think I should go for it. Yeah, that's Outrage range, so... I guess, like, if their Dragapult is Scarf, I could lose the game. That's, like, the one thing here. But, like, at this point, I'll sack off my Copper Aja to an Overheat miss. I mean, they should just go for that again. I'll have you slam on the off chance they miss. And, uh, the play right here is to go out into, uh, I believe my... I think Flagon and Outrage right now is the play, actually. Even if Seismitoad gets a Toxic on me, it won't matter as long as it doesn't Scald Burn, like... If it doesn't Scald Burn me, I should be able to spam Outrage, and they go hard into it, so it probably is 2-hit KO'd. I need to get a better roll right here, maybe. No, and they got the burn. That's the one way I could have lost. Ah, that sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for it so prematurely, but that, that's still really lame that I couldn't get my attack. But maybe Clef can solo, actually, looking at the matchup. It's possible. But that just made it really tricky. Like, this was a, such a free win had I hit right there. I actually have to stay in here. I do break through. Uh, I actually lose the game if it's... Um... Okay, thankfully I was able to break out of that. I think what I do here is I go to... Either Clef and Mach Punch or I go Conk and Drain. I really want to keep Conk at full health, but Clefable might be the key to beating that Dragapult. Yeah, I think Conk and... Um... Conk and Earthquake might be the play. I'll knock punch. Okay, so they can go Dragapult now. I don't think Rotom's helping them at all, but... Has Heliolux done nothing? It came out and hypervoiced into this earlier. That, I'm pretty sure that's all that it did. Um, I can Earthquake here. If it kills, then uh, they, go out and they go for a U-turn. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> they go hard back into this. Am I throwing right here? Is that what's happening? No, I don't think- I think I'm fine now after that. I can go to this and just Moonblast. Yeah, I got a crit there. I don't think it mattered though. The Rotom wouldn't have put me in range. And I'm pretty sure this is choice locked in some manner, so... Yeah, they go for Steel Wing, which isn't able to knock me out, and Moonblast will wrap it up. So everybody did work except for Helia Lisk. I'll be right back. So this player right here has a pretty standard looking offense. It's actually quite weak to Copper Raja lead, as well as potentially my Helia Lisk if I can get the Toad in range of Hyper Voice. Sylveon probably takes me on just fine though. I also really like my Life Orb Clef, so that's something to keep in mind here. I'll lead Copper Raja, as my opponent leads off with the Toad, so I can just go for Power Up, of course. Hopefully no Scald Burn if that's what comes out. I need to hit this right here. 
nice. Okay, Toad is out of the game. The problem is I just locked Starox. The thing is my opponent did as well, so... I don't know who that like, exchange is better for, but at least I get the momentum now, I guess. He's probably going to end up bringing out the Conkeldur here. I can, I'm can. i just going to bring in my Clefable. Like, I can take an Earthquake before the Flame Orb goes off. Yeah, that's just fine. And like I doubt he's fast enough for me, so... Maybe what I do is I just Moonblast. Corviknight comes in. I don't know if this has Iron Head or not, but what I'll do here is just click Flamethrower for damage. I was about to actually recover, but it actually has Brave Bird. Okay. That didn't actually do that much, though. So I'll Moonlight up. It wants to keep me low, clearly. All right, I'll, I'll take the Pokemon from them then and uh, lose my Clefable in the process. Not the best, but like Flygon is looking better now. It's just that Sylveon, obviously, that I need to remove somehow, but that could be a little bit tough considering... Hello? I guess I'm in range of Mach Punch. I didn't actually think I was, but uh, just double checking that I am before I commit to switching out. Conkelder. Got Flame Orb, Mach Punch. Should kill me most of the time. I don't know how he would risk it here. Actually, 19.5 gets rounded up to the 20, right? So, yeah, I understand now. I definitely want to just sack this off, I think. Yeah, no point. Mach Punch is able to pick me off. That's all right. Now what I can do is bring out... I want to keep Rotom Hot Heat just in case it's helpful against the Sylveon. I'll go to Conquer instead. And I'm just going to Drain Punch immediately. Actually, Earthquake's probably the better play. It wasn't the better play. I forget anything I said. Let's Drain Punch now. Maybe I should Earthquake again. No, I should just Drain Punch. I'm not in range of Mach Punch, right? Hold up. I'm not, okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna Earthquake as Dragapult comes in. Yeah, I, I didn't want this coming in. I'm able to do a lot, and... Hmm, I really need to keep Rotom Heat healthy. That's, like, the key here. I need to keep this, though, because it's really important against Conk, potentially. I'll go to Kaparaja on that. And then what I can do is just follow it up by bringing out my Flygon here. And I, I want to say U-Turn will do 12. I don't think Flygon's that bad to where it can do 12 to a Dragapult. 10 to 12, never mind. <laughs> okay, Fire Punch isn't helping, right? 11 to 13, I don't want to do that either. I could risk Fire Punch, but I feel like I just read quick, yeah. Okay, that's really helpful. I think I win with my Rotom Heat now. Like, it, it does so well now. They go to Rotom Mo. I can just go Heliolisk on this. Okay, that hurts. They're going to bring back the Conkeldur, obviously. And just go for Mach Punch, most likely. I guess what I can do here is just go for Hyper Voice and sack this. Yeah, I don't need that. Then what I can do is bring out Conk. We saw earlier that I think I live this, so... Uh, Conk against Conk. Okay, if they max roll me, I could die. That's actually scary. <laughs> they decide to go to Sylveon, though, so that's alright. I think I just go to Rotom Heat here. Do I bother taking damage with it? I'm, like, really considering whether it's even worth it risking it or not. The play might be keep this low, then just get in Rotom after. Yeah, they kill me, but doesn't Rotom Heat come in here and win? I I'm, like, pretty confident it does, and if it doesn't, as long as I get rid of this, Flagon might be able to do it for me. So let's go right for the Nasty Plot and see what I can do. I think I just get up to like plus four or plus six and try to break. They get a wish up. I'm going to nasty plot here. They pass it to Rotom Mo. I don't think this is going to help you at all, dude. I'm going to overheat. Leaf Storm is going to hurt. Actually, I might be faster. Ooh, I got locked in. Uh, that's that's an issue. I might have lost the game. <laughs> I, I might need to crit this right here to win now. Okay, they protect for a bit more. That did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I think I just lost... <laughs> I didn't think about Trick at all. I should have gone Flygon. Had I gone Flygon and spammed Earthquake, I would have probably won this game right there. But yeah, all I can do here is hope for a crit. They actually risked the crit, which I like doesn't make any sense. Never mind, they lived a crit anyway. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do now, right? I can try to go Flygon, maybe, and spam Earthquake. It's a wish off. I mean, yeah, if Earthquake can crit here, then maybe if it kills, I can do something. A crit would have actually killed it, huh? Yeah, I, I didn't think about Trick. That's so sad. I would have actually had this. Yeah, but they get a wish back, and uh, now there's absolutely nothing I can do, so... Let's go ahead and run, and I'll be right back. So I managed to find a team without a Corviknight after, like, the four games, I think, now, so... That's kind of cool. What I want to do here is lead off with my Flygon. It does so well against everybody. If they end up leading off with a Dragapult, I think I go for... a hard switch out here, if I'm being honest. It's not worth risking this. Let's go to Copper Aja and try to get, like, an attack off. 
Because, like, if they're Scarf here, which they very well could be, I don't think, like, Cinderace would be Scarf, and I don't think Grill would be Scarf. I could actually lose my flag on, so, yeah, let's go Copper Aja. Uh, they created Drago. I'm going to calc the damage and see whether that is a spec set or not. Drago Pult. Draco would have done, yeah, they're specs, because at plus one, which is basically the crit, they do that damage. So, I can get a Barrax here. I'm not going to die. They get this in. Spam rapid spin. I'll heat crash into it. They give it to me. Okay, I don't know what they were thinking, but I, I was gonna sack that every time there. I guess they really expected Rotom to come in against a mold breaker drill, huh? What I can do is just power whip, like take my dude, what are you doing? Just take my mon. <laughs> I'm trying to sack this thing. Okay, they finally take my thing. I can get in my my flag on now and just outrage. And I will just outrage. Like I know this thing is good, but I need to revenge that somehow. They let me keep it, too. I think that's actually a bad play. Yeah, let's keep this around, then, and go for, um... Let's switch to Rotom here. On Phantom Force. Okay, Heliolus, hello. And what I can do here is vault out into my, uh, my Rotom again. Yeah, there's that, and Overheat's free, and I think they already lost to my Flygon coming in after this, if they sack this off here, so... Their choice, whether they want to or not. They sack it off. I'm pretty sure I just win with Outrage now. <laughs> This was a weird game, like, I, I didn't think I would find it, an opponent who plays like this, this high on the ladder, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter, like, ELO isn't everything, right? GXE, I think, is a much more accurate depiction of whether people are good or not, like, you can get to top, like, 10 on the ladder by, like, getting, like, 75% GXE. <laughs> I'll go ahead and sack this off, then bring in, I'll just go Clef next and Moonblast, and then I can just wrap it up using Flagon, like I mentioned. I mean, they might try to pivot to Cinderace here to have, like, some sort of hope, but I don't think it's happening. Like, if they give me the damage on Cinderace, my Conkeldor also just wraps this up for me, so... Yeah. They might- I guess if they stay in here and crit me with Shadow Ball, they could win, but they go the Cinderace route. It's actually not even- I crit that there, that's not gonna matter. It's not even the item that I thought it would be. They go for Gunk Shot. Okay, dude, let's- let's get at- let's get this over. With- let's go for, um... Outrage, knock that boy out. And then, like, it doesn't matter who they go to. Obstagoon comes in. They might try to obstruct here, I guess. They do. I, I will just keep this around for the speed control. Hmm, yeah, I sack off Heliolisk here. Go Conk. Drain Punch every time. Well, actually, Mock Punch every time. Knock that out. And then uh, Dragapult obviously can't solo my Scarf Flag on in the endgame right now, so... Super safe endgame for me right there. I'll go ahead and take the win, though. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play again. I don't know why the word depiction came out when I was talking about ladder yellows right there. I definitely meant to say a representation, but... This guy is really weak to, like, endgame Flag on as well, but... We have another Sylveon Corviknight to break, so that could be a little bit tough. I really like Copper Aja lead again here. Against a Dragapult, do you just drop to Heavy Slam Dragapult? Is that like a thing that can happen? Okay, it doesn't drop in one, which is actually kind of scary. The damage could be worth it though, just to like get it in range of Heliolisk, but rocks are also really strong. I'll click Heavy Slam. I don't know what play they want to make. The thing is, like, if they U-turn here and I weren't not, and I didn't get a Brox, that would be really bad. So it's just a matter of like, what do I think they're doing? Looking at their team, this looks like the only possible choice scarf around their team, so I think they're going for U-turn, and I'm gonna click rocks. I don't think anything else would be scarf. Like, scarf Drapion is so bad. It's like, what, base 90 attack? Why would you ever scarf that thing? Slash ladder, slash data Drapion. It goes for wisp, that's fine. Yeah, base 90 attack. Okay, so it's sub wisp, clearly. I can just have you slam here. Or I could get in clef if I really want to, but that thing's really good as well. I mean, they're probably gonna hex, right? Let's get this, and I actually get an on Toad, which is really nice. I can just click Moonblast. No really big reason to predict here. They're just gonna give me the the Toad, okay. Well, I'll Moonblast again. Obviously, they're gonna go like Sylveon or Corviknight, maybe even Drapion. Do you even 1v1 me, is my question. Like, I'm gonna sp sit in here and spam Moonblast a bit more before just switching out. They got a Wish going. They're obviously gonna protect now. So I'll bring in Copper Aja. They actually risked a roll. I'm pretty sure that was a roll too, so that's kind of crazy, but I guess that's what they wanted to do. 
I'll click Heavy Slam here. They go to Drapion and I actually do a decent amount, so that's honestly more than I could have asked for from Kaparaja. I might even get another hit off depending on what they have. Am I scared about that? It affects only my Heliolisk, which is actually a decent Pokemon, so maybe I should be a bit more scared. They get in Corviknight here. Do I keep this and go Rotom? Toad is weak, I could probably get in Rotom here, but if they U-turn, that would be a bit more annoying, so... Okay, yeah, Rotom, hello. I'm not letting you just sit here and do this, dude. Stop that. I mean, I'm just gonna overheat, right? It, this Either this dies or I get more damage on the Toad, which is actually something I need, so... Let's see what they do. They go hard Sylveon. Now I kind of wish I nasty plotted, but at least I can Volt out here. They might deny the Volt and go out into the Seismitoad, but I figured they wanted the Wish more than anything. I'll go to Clef again on the Wish, and um, I don't think Drapion is something I can allow to get in here, so I'll just Moonblast. I'm like really curious, does this guy actually 1v1 me or not? He has Mystical Fire as well. I mean, he doesn't as well. I don't have that. <laughs> I'll go for uh, Moonblast again. I'll go Copper Adja on the Hyper Voice. Mystical Fire is going to kill me here. Ah, this is actually tough. I need to get in Rotom after this and Nasty Plot more. Okay, I guess he just wanted to use this opportunity to roost up. I'll, I'll Nasty Plot this time. I'm sick of that Sylveon. Yeah, I'm just going to Nasty Plot up to like a lot and then overheat through. Like if I Nasty Plot here on the Wish, then what I can do is overheat this turn. And they can't pass it to anybody. I don't even think Dragapult comes in here, and they try to get in the Drapion, which is dead now. The Dragapult now comes in here. I really don't want to take any hit with the Rotom Heat. It's not worth it. I'm going to suck off my Copper Aja. Yeah, if the Rotom Heat takes damage, I'm probably going to end up losing to like Sylveon or Corviknight. So let's play it smart and not do that. And I can just bring in Clef now and click. Click Moonblast. They bring out the Corviknight. I'll follow it up with Flamethrower on Sylveon, then make the exact same play that I've been making. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make the Rotom play on Mystical Fire. I mean, it still allows me to Nasty Plot up, so I don't even care, dude. Wish. Uh, Seismitoad's gonna die to plus one overheat, I wanna say, so let's just click that here. Ah, they stayed in, though. That's tough. Yeah, because now I'm at minus, like, two, and I'm taking so much damage now. I don't think I can afford to just sit in here. I should have just continued clicking Nasty Plot, I guess. Okay, let's go Clef and weaken it a bit more. They go for the Wish. I'll click Moonblast, of course. Let's try to get a drop on this thing, but they're getting drops on me, which is not helpful at all. Can I get a drop, please? I just need the drop so that Rotom's not taking so much damage. Uh, that came in there. Yeah, that's that's really bad. That's just the, all the damage I needed for Rotom gone. Ah, oh, man, why the double... Actually, were they Mystical Fire Drops? They were Mystical Fire Drops. Okay, so th that wasn't hacks. I can probably get in Conk and try to break, I want to say. Let's try that. They get in Sylveon. This is going to outspeed me. Goes for Protect. That's that's alright. Can I just get a drop though, please? No, and they're still getting drops on me. Just one. I just need one. There we go. Thank you. And now I can actually safely Nasty Plot. Okay, let's get in my Clef. Uh, rinse Repeat, I guess. Let's go for uh, Moonlight here. Yeah, this thing being healthy is going to be the end of me. I, I did, like, couldn't let the wish get past to that, and I just did. Okay, this turn I can get in Rotom. On the Protect and just a nasty plot. Okay, I, I kept the, the Sylveon low there, which is actually really big. Let's get in Clef on the Scald. I think it gets two at KO'd now. I'm unblasting again, dude. Whatever. You're not recovering that Sylveon safely, if possible. Yeah, I need to try to get that two code to be able to win this game. Okay, I'll Moonlight here. I need to get these turns correct. Could Flamethrower kill? Okay, they go ahead and let me recover. Let's click Flamethrower. I think Flamethrower plus Moonblast might be enough. Let's find out, though. I gotta keep in mind I have two Moonblasts left, by the way. <laughs> That's a bit of a yikes. They start to click bulk up. Okay, cool. I'll just start spamming Thunderbolt. Okay, they give it to me, but now they get the recovery that I think they were going for. No, they bring in Dragapult, so they're still letting me keep that low. 
Here, I could make the aggressive play into Heliolisk and spam Hyper Voice, but the problem is that T-Spike is up, which is like a big problem. Yeah, I can't really do that. I think I'll sack it off. Maybe they mess up. Nah, they just go for Hex. Okay, Flygon has to be my play. I need to get rid of the Sylveon, then I can win using... Flygon. Do I Outrage? If I catch that with an Earthquake, I win. I'm gonna Outrage. They go to Toad and I crit it. So, I don't know if they're expecting me to be Scarf or not. I could just easily be bluffing here. I think they're gonna sack this off. They actually let me break out of that Protect. Okay, that's really helpful. I'm gonna make the play to Conk here. No, because I, I have to hard predict Sylveon coming in and go Rotom, I think, here. Or oh, I go for Outrage, then safe pivot into it. This is a tough turn. Like, if I get in Rotom and they attack here and just stay in, I lose. I think I have to attack. Yeah, I couldn't risk switching out there. They're gonna get their wish up now, but my Rotom is still alive. Oh, they took the kill. Is that better or worse? That might be better. Let's get this in a nasty plot. Dragapult comes in. I think it dies to overheat right now. No, I'll live that. Are you serious? Are these specs? They were specs with the Willowisp, weren't they? I lost. That's it, right? I'll go Conk. But uh, yeah, that, that's the game. I can't win anymore. I didn't think they were specs with Wisp, but in hindsight, they had Draco in the set, so maybe I should have anticipated that. Let's click EQ and then just lose. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a really tough loss. I think I could have played better for sure. My only hope now is them giving me this, and then if Halucha comes in and they um, don't get their unburden and they're adamant, Heliolisk can Thunderbolt through. Nah, but they got the unburden, right? Yeah, GG. So uh, that's going to be the game, unfortunately. I, tr I tried to outplay it, but Sylveon is just a really big, po t it's just a really tough Pokemon for this team because Kaparaji gets worn down so easily. But there were definitely things I could have done smarter. But yeah, that guy's going to pick up the W. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I have another game right here. I'm not too upset with how I played. I definitely think there were turns I could have been a bit more aggressive, but I was honestly pretty aggressive during that game. Like, I double outraged him. There was a Sylveon in the back, which I was really worried about but like they shouldn't have risked the sylveon anyway right so it kind of made sense what i want to do here is okay clef is a bit of an issue i can break it using Copperaja and rotom like clef is so much easier to break than sylveon from what i've found but like t-wave spam is the big thing with clef that's so valuable i really need to break using like conkelder here conkelder is really important i'm realizing okay they lead rotom as i lead Copperaja. I don't want my Sash being broken just yet. Let's go to Rotom of my own. Although, at the same time, this taking an overheat is just as bad. Mm. Let's get him up. They actually decide to go hard Snorlax, which I'm pretty sure this thing is like way too heavy. Look at that thing. It's not going to take any damage, right? Why is it Papa Lax in the Calc? <laughs> Yeah, it takes nothing. Okay, I gotta I gotta figure this out then. They're gonna go for Body Slam for sure. Like, I have no doubt about it. What do I do about that, though? I don't want to take the hit with the Rotom. I don't want to risk a Para on my Conk, because if it gets Para, that's really bad. Like, probably game losing. But if I was able to get in Conk safely right here, that would be amazing. That's the thing. So do I just risk it and just hope I don't get Body Slammed, like, paired? Oh, they doubled into the Rotom. That's fine. Okay, that's actually really good for me. I, I didn't think they would do that. Watch this Thunder Punch. I have many regrets. I'm in now choice scarf. At least I'm burned, but like, yikes. That could have killed that right there. They have a Flame Orb now, aren't they getting burned? Okay, well, uh, that's that's really bad. I didn't think about Trick. And it even took rocks coming in. That's the sad part. Like, I saw it take hazards. <laughs> okay, this is actually good. I'll go for a Nasty Plot here. Yeah, that, that's the yikes. I don't, I don't know why I let my conk get tricked like that. They go hard Snorlax, I obviously volt out here. Okay, it's not over, but like, I could have killed the Rotom right there and it would have been so much easier. But, obviously that's not happening. Does Power Up do any damage to this? It does damage, I wouldn't say it does damage, if you know what I mean. They bring this in. Um... I mean, they're not going to stay in, ever, so it's just what do I predict coming in. I've shown them Thunder Punch, I think I just Earthquake. Or Drain. Drain is probably fine. I mean, I could Earthquake. 
But then if they go Rotom, that's bad. The thing is, Rotom's taking Hazard. Is that going to Earthquake? And maybe Clef coming in. I doubt you risk Togekiss after I just showed you my move. Are you serious, dude? I could have Thunder Punched into you. Okay, let's go Rotom Heat. Yeah, I really didn't think they would just throw that out, but hey, what can I do? They have Ancient Power. <laughs> do you stay in with this? Now I'm like very confused. I'm going to Volt this time. I don't think this has a recovery on an Ancient Power set, out of all things. Yeah, this game is like really throwing me off. I don't know what to think. Like, first I let my Conk get tricked, and now like my Rotom's getting worn down by Ancient Power Togekiss. After this guy just risked it. Like, had they, had I caught that, I actually probably would have won. They get in Kamo. -O. I'm able to get out of there. I mean, I obviously go Clef. Snorlax might get to it KO'd. Look, the life from Clef is strong. They get in Corvi Knight. I will f actually, Thunderbolt's probably better just in case it does a bit more to Snorlax due to Thick Fat. So let's go for that. They get in their Clef. This is probably gonna have T Wave because, yeah, that's a bulky Clef. So I'll get in my Heliolisk here on that. They go for Aromatherapy. That's fine. They're, they might protect the scout my move here. I'm just gonna Hyper Voice. They do go for Protect. I will Hyper Voice again. They bring out Soundproof Kamo. -o. I mean, I still have my full health Clef, so it's fine. Rocks go up. Let's Moon Blast here. I mean, I'll, I'll click Moonblast no matter what, dude. What? Oh, that took nothing, huh? <laughs> I thought it would take damage, but it, it took zero. It's gonna rest this turn, right? So rest, curse, sleep, talk, body slam, question mark? I don't know. Like, it's, it's kind of a weird situation to be in. Okay, there's that. I'll get in conk this turn and uh, try to get the play right this time. I'm gonna get it wrong every single time. I can already see that, but... Maybe I'll get lucky. It's at 88. Oh, they get in Clef here. Okay, well, I can't stay in. I gotta go to Rotom Heat on Aromatherapy. So they just woke up that thing. <laughs> that's that's a bit bad. Well, Nesty Plot here. I could see the Moon Blasting for a turn just in case I opted to Volt. They go Hard Kamoa, which I, I do have the speed tier on this for, so I can Volt out here. And once again, just bring in my Life Orb Clef. They finally attack with this thing, so that's interesting. They're gonna protect, maybe, so I can probably just Moonlight, but I, I think they might go hard lax too. So let's just attack there. I'm gonna Moonblast again. And they get the pair immediately, dude, why? Oh, that's, that's really bad. Yeah, it rests up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to the Earthquake play. Yeah, they go Clef this time. Let's just EQ again. Protects. Okay, maybe this is a roll that I can get. Let's, let's find out. Because if it is, I still have an opening, but my Clef is paralyzed. It's not a roll, and they get the Wish up. I think this is already over after that. Like, uh, man, what could I have done differently this game? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, Obviously, not letting my Conkeller get tricked was, like, a really obvious choice, right? Like, that was just a bad play, but... I'll, uh, Nasty Plot here, and Volt out again. Maybe this- maybe I can, re like, recover up my Clef, but... Like, yeah, had I killed out there with Earthquake, I might have been able to do it, but I don't think it's happening at all now. I'm doing a decent bit there. And they go for Earthquake. I'm just gonna run and call that a game, I think. There's nothing I can do to break this team. Yeah, I, I just, I, I messed up really badly. That's all there is to that. So um, after a really strong, like three and one start, two and zero start, I ended up finishing three and three, which uh, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty sad. But I mean, we still did get some wins. So I guess I'll go ahead and take that. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description. I think I might try to do some more stuff like this, like high ladder content, because it was actually pretty fun. Like aside from finding three Corviknights in a row, which walled my flag on, it was pretty cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.